Hello, everyone. Welcome to Fact Fusion. In today's video, I'm going to tell you 10 facts about Napoleon, the 2023 epic historical drama film directed and produced by Ridley Scott and written by David Scarpa. If you don't know what Napoleon is, it is a biographical film based on the true story of Napoleon Bonaparte, one of the most famous and influential leaders in history. The film stars Joaquin Phoenix as Napoleon, and features Vanessa Kirby, Tahar Rahim, Ben Miles, Ludivine Sagne, and many more in supporting roles. The film was released on November 22, 2023, by Sony Pictures Releasing, before streaming on Apple TV Plus at a later date. The film has received rave reviews from critics and audiences alike, and has been nominated for several awards. So, without further ado, let's get into the facts. Number 1. Napoleon is Ridley Scott's passion project. The film is the result of Scott's longtime fascination with Napoleon Bonaparte and his desire to make a movie about him. Scott said he was inspired by Stanley Kubrick's unfinished project on Napoleon, which he considered to be the greatest movie never made. Scott also said he wanted to make a personal and intimate portrait of Napoleon, focusing on his relationship with his wife Josephine. Number 2. Napoleon is Joaquin Phoenix's first collaboration with Ridley Scott since Gladiator. Joaquin Phoenix plays Napoleon Bonaparte, the French emperor and military leader who rose to power during the French Revolution and conquered most of Europe. Phoenix reunited with Scott after 23 years since they worked together on Gladiator, 2000, where Phoenix played Commodus, the Roman emperor and antagonist of Russell Crowe's Maximus. Phoenix said he was honored and excited to work with Scott again, and that he was impressed by his vision and energy. Number 3. Napoleon is Vanessa Kirby's first historical role. Vanessa Kirby plays Empress Josephine, the first wife and one true love of Napoleon. Kirby is best known for her roles in The Crown, 2016-2017, where she played Princess Margaret, and Mission, Impossible, Fallout, 2018, and Mission, Impossible 7, 2022, where she played Alana Mitsopoulos, White Widow. Kirby said she was thrilled to play Josephine, who she described as a complex and fascinating woman who had a huge impact on Napoleon's life. Number 4. Napoleon features real historical figures in its cast. The film hired several actors to play some of the most important characters in Napoleon's life and era. Some of them are Tahar Rahim as Paul Barris, a politician who was the executive head of the directory during the French Revolution. Ben Miles as Collingcourt, a diplomat and close advisor to Napoleon. Ludivine Sagne as Teresa Cabarrus, Madame Tallien, a socialite and noblewoman who was involved in the Thermidorian reaction that ended the reign of terror. Matthew Needham as Lucien Bonaparte, brother of Napoleon and president of the Council of 500. Yusuf Kirkour as Marshal Devout, one of Napoleon's finest commanders. Rupert Everett as Arthur Wellesley, Duke of Wellington, the principal military rival of Napoleon. Number 5. Napoleon was filmed in various locations across Europe. The film was shot in several countries in Europe in 2022. Some of the locations include France, where most of the scenes set in Paris were filmed. Italy, where some of the scenes set in Corsica, Napoleon's birthplace, and Milan were filmed. Spain, where some of the scenes set in Madrid were filmed. Romania, where some of the scenes set in Russia were filmed. England, where some of the scenes set in London were filmed. Number 6. Napoleon had a budget of $130 million. The film was financed by Apple Studios with the support of Access Entertainment, BBC Film, and House Productions. The film had a large budget compared to other biopics and historical dramas, but it managed to create a spectacular and immersive depiction of Napoleon's world in the late 18th and early 19th centuries. The film used practical effects, costumes, sets, props, and extras to recreate some of the most epic moments in history. Number 7. Napoleon has received critical acclaim. The film has been praised by critics for its powerful performances, gripping story, and authentic portrayal of history. The film has a 94% approval rating on Rotten Tomatoes based on 212 reviews, with an average rating of 8.410. Number 8. Napoleon has a running time of 157 minutes. The film has a relatively long running time for a biopic, but it manages to keep the audience engaged and entertained throughout. The film covers several aspects of Napoleon's life, 
from his childhood in Corsica to his exile in St. Helena. The film also balances the war scenes with the romance scenes, showing both the glory and the tragedy of Napoleon. Number 9, Napoleon has a post credit scene. The film has a surprise scene after the credits that features a cameo appearance by Russell Crowe as Maximus Decimus Meridius, the protagonist of Gladiator. In the scene, he meets with Napoleon at St. Helena and tells him that he is a fan of his and his achievements. He also tells him that he wants to make a movie about him and asks him for his blessing. Napoleon agrees and hugs him, saying that he is honored and grateful. Number 10, Napoleon is based on a book by Andrew Roberts. The film is loosely based on the book Napoleon, A Life by Andrew Roberts, who is also known as the greatest Napoleonic scholar of our age. The book is a comprehensive and authoritative biography of Napoleon Bonaparte, based on thousands of original letters and documents. The book covers Napoleon's personal and professional life, his achievements and failures, his strengths and weaknesses, and his legacy and impact. And that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed learning more about Napoleon 2023 and its amazing facts. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more entertainment facts. Also, let me know in the comments below what other facts you want me to share about your favorite movies. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!